7 Truths That Will Free You For Life Admitting these truths will help you live graciously with yourself and overflow into how you treat others based on this prime understanding. Number 1. I'm not as powerful as I often like to think or believe I am. The best of any man is still a man. A man is only as strong as the health of his secret place. Number 2. Despite my many efforts to learn and improve, there are many things I still do not know, and there are many things I still have to learn. Education is a lifetime pursuit. The day you graduate, you don't start becoming de-educated, you start dying. Personal development has no finish line. The better you are, the best you should strive to become. Number 3. I am easily alarmed at the fault of others, but outside the grace and help of God, I am a baggage of imperfections myself. We often look at others through a magnifying lens, but at ourselves, through beautifully colored glasses. I am as faulty as any other human being out there. The only difference is the level of our yieldedness to and transformation by the Spirit of God. Knowing and accepting this makes you more compassionate and bearing towards others better than any sermon can. Number 4. Giving the right circumstances, temptations, and liberty or opportunities, I am capable of any sin. It is easier to judge a marathoner from among the audience. It is easier to criticize and give harsh comments about the player who missed a shot. However, hitting the pitch, grinding in the court, makes everyone less judgmental. We are only saints, only related to the trials and testing God is shielding us from. We're all humans. No one is more human than another. The tendency to fall is something we all have in common. You'd be heartbroken, what even the finest of men will do, when faced with the worst of trials with nothing but windows of compromises. So never live another day feeling more righteous than or superior to another man. Number 5. Independence is great, and it improves self-dignity and respect, but no one thrives in isolation. We usually need the help and impute of others more than we'd like to admit. If you alone, by yourself, are enough, God wouldn't bother about the lives of over 8 point to billion other people sharing the earth with you. Man was created to be interdependent. You need people, and people need you. Relationship is the most common habit in all the universe. All life forms, living and non-living alike, relates. Never again mistaken the need for privacy and moments or seasons of aloneness for independence. Number 6. Love is your most deepest need. You may spell it as respect or just love, but love is your deepest need. Despite the hurts and heartbreaks deep down, your heart never stops believing in the possibility of love and reaching out for it. Your mind may deny it, but your heart knows it and it yearns for it. Love is beautiful. Love is perfect. We only use perfect love to love imperfect people, and that is why love seems for us. Love is perfect in our hands, it's fragile. Broken people break love, hurting people hurt love. Abusive people abuse love. Childish people play with love. Corrupt people corrupt love. Otherwise, love left undisturbed 
is whole and perfect. Wise people protect and preserve love. Number 7. Never do good beyond your capabilities. Impressions would fade away one day, sooner or later. Understand that people may never respect or appreciate your all, but God sees it and that's an a plus. Don't try to quantify your giving. The woman in the temple gave her dime, yet she gave the most. Be comfortable to give as you have, and be thankful to receive from others such as they can give. Give your best, do your best, and leave the rest. Always leave margins for people's gratitude to fill things up. I'll leave you a bonus. The eighth, never say I love you, just so you could hear it reciprocated back to you. The aim, subject, and goal of love should always be the other person and not yourself. People who always say I love you with themselves as the end always feel unfulfilled when it's not reciprocated back to them, and that's selfish more so. The primary, secondary, and tertiary proof of love is giving without expecting a return or pay up. I love you, that's why I've freely shared these truths with you. If you love others, help them see this too. Please, if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel for more beautiful videos. I am Josiah Emmanuel Adeza. See you in the next video.